Hi guys, this is Josh. I've got a question I'd like to answer in this video, and it comes from Larry. Uh, Larry writes, uh, I absolutely love your vector drawings using Google Drawings. Um, I have subscribed, etc. Et I want to learn how to do these and share the technique with my academically uh, gifted students once school starts in two weeks. I've been following your directions and I have I am having a problem that you did not address. Perhaps it's because you have not had this problem. When I start to trace around my head shape or the other chunky shapes, it very seldomly allows me to complete it before it closes the shape. I'm closing a, I'm enclosing a screen capture so that you can see what I'm talking about and he does so. Larry, thank you for the question. I know what you're talking about. Um, I'd like to illustrate it here just so that everybody else can see what, what it is that you're addressing and then provide you with some solutions. So here we have on the screen here, this is an unclosed shape. And I've, used, I've done this using the, the polyline tool, which uh, I'm sure you've been seeing that I use that, that a lot. So let me just try to do this again and duplicate. Uh, what's happening here. Basically, if I'm trying to trace uh, anything or just create a new shape, whatever it might be, and say I'm about to close this shape or maybe I want to go a different direction and whatever. If I click just a little bit too close to the, the point that I've just plotted, it's going to think that I'm double clicking. And what double clicking does or clicking in the same spot is ends the shape without it being closed. So you end up with just a line rather than a closed shape. So if I click too closely to this point here, you see right here on the screen, what it's going to do is, is what I'm assuming is it's, it's thinking that uh, I want to end the shape. And that's exactly what happens. And I've just, I've just clicked a little bit too closely. I think it, it thinks that I'm plotting that point on the same part which by the way if if you uh, if you wanted to just draw a line like this and end it without closing the shape just double click and you're done so then there is actually use for that but what it sounds like is you're it, it is you're struggling with uh, creating a closed shape the way you would like to so let me um, let me get rid of all this and show you how um, I, I deal with this. Now, this still happens to me occasionally. Um, and basically, I just have to redraw the shape. Um, so, for example, if I'm trying to draw a shape like this, and I either double click before ending it, or I click too closely to the the point that I've just created. So, see this this point here, I'll, I'll, I'll make a corner out of it so you can see right here on the screen. If I click too closely to that, and I don't know what the proximity is, but if I just click too close, it ends up just like that. And I believe that's what's happening to you as well. So I am, I'm very mindful just to make sure that I'm, I'm changing enough direction and I'm pulling away far enough from my last point to make sure that I can continue my shape and then get all the way back around and you see how it snaps like that? Once it snaps like that and I click, now you see it closes the shape and it fills it with that light blue or the last color that you had selected. So that's how I just make sure, I make sure that I, I, uh, I move far enough away from my last point so that it doesn't think I'm, I'm clicking on the same point again and finish my shape without it being closed. Then to close the shape, I make sure that I get that little snap and then I click, okay? Uh, also, zooming in really helps. It really helps you get more precise. And the, um, the shortcut keys for that is Option Control Plus and Option Control Minus or Option Command uh, or Alt Control. If you're on a PC or Chromebook, Alt Control option command uh, same same thing so and then I'm using the plus and minus keys plus to zoom in minus to zoom out you can also do that with the um, magnifying glass tool or the zoom tool right here and just zoom right in onto what what you want 
or from the view menu, they've got some stops here, 100 uh, or 50, 100 and 200%. And then you can also see the shortcut keys are listed under that view menu. So zooming in really helps um, to, for that precision and making sure that, uh, so for example, I'll just zoom in here. And if I wanted to get just a little bit more precise, when I'm making like details like this, now this is usually where those shapes end for me. <laughs> and it's usually when I'm doing a lot of this detailed stuff. So zooming in a couple of times will really help. Um, and I, I get back to my point here and close the shape. So I do that a lot. And if you watch my videos, you'll constantly see this zooming in and out. Um, so uh, those are some tips. I hope that helps. And I uh, hope so everybody else out there, again, thank you, Larry, for addressing this issue. And um, I hope this is a solution for you. Uh, another thing that I do, just a final tip here, is I take things in smaller chunks. So you'll often see when I'm doing portrait work that um, rather than just trying to draw the entire shape of something, I'll draw bits and pieces of it. One thing that this helps helps me do is if, if I'm trying to do something very in intricate, especially like people's hair or something that I want a lot of detail in, like the eyes, you'll see that I'm actually just drawing a whole bunch of, uh, of just simple polygons. And those stacked together will make up the more complex shape that I want. And always use the, the Command G or Control G to group things together that you wouldn't have stuck together and stay together to be able to move those things together. So making smaller shapes uh, less complex shapes um, will, will also help you uh, be able to do that. Okay, thanks, Larry. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.